Alright guys, we're the Fuck Buckets and welcome back to Take the Dream 9. And this time I made sure we're recording everything properly. The audio's good. The uh play, music, what, what was it called? Oh, the gameplay is good. Oh my god. <laughs> How can you forget <clears throat> that? Anyways. There's episode five, oh, right? Four. Four? Yeah, keep track, bro. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, we finally got five subscribers on the channel. Oh cool. Yeah. We're, get, we're getting there, slowly, but we're getting there. And uh, now we're apparently at this school. Yeah, gonna be one hell of an episode. This is the part where he gets fucked up, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're gonna get to that fucked up part uh, in this episode. But we'll try to, okay? So, now we're gonna go inside the school. If you guys remember... Last time, we were, uh, let's go in the girls' bathroom, because I'm a girl. What? <laughs> what were we doing last episode? Is that a bitch in the toilet? Hey, what up? You're in my seat. <laughs> so, someone's in here. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> Let me in. <clears throat> yeah, well, anyways. Wait, can you use the bathroom? Mm, I don't think so. No, she just knocks on the door. So yesterday we were running away from the boogeyman. What else? Uh, we were going through some fucking... Oh yeah, we killed our coon. Yeah, we did. Poor little shy guy. He looks so sad. I go in the classroom. Oh, there's an empty seat here. Is this for me? There's an empty chair. An empty seat and a... Mm. It's quiet in skeleton. here. Spooky, scary skeletons. Shiver down your spine. Well, teach us this time. The birds and the bees. Now listen, class. When a mother and father love each other very much, but the mother not as much, well, the father might have to force his way in. What? Well, the better whiskey shall do the trick. Terrible teacher, terrible teaching. Do not take what I said seriously. What the fuck, Victor? <laughs> Can't see past the girl's pigtails. Fucking deal with it. <laughs> Should we see if any of them say something funny? Sure. I'm trying to listen to the teacher. She's so hot. I mean, what? Oh, she got a curse on the teacher. <laughs> like we the shouldn't teacher be talking. Is. Okay, we talked to these two already. I forgot my textbook. Lend me yours. Bitch, what if I need it? <laughs> I'm bored. Well, get the fuck out. <laughs> oh, this dude's sleeping in class. Slacker. <laughs> the skeleton's staring right at me. <laughs> Jesus is creepy. Why'd I end up with this seat? Hmm. Let's see what the teacher says. Oh, mess teacher! Turn your notebook to page 46. Hold on, no, you gotta read it right. <clears throat> Turn your notebooks to page 46. Today we're going to learn all about the science of cosmology. Sit down, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Do not make a fool of yourself. I had to. I had to take the chance and do it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> the opportunity presented itself. Uh, true. What does the skeleton have to say? Does it say anything? Human skin. Human skeleton. Is it really a human skeleton? <laughs> Not a fake one? Don't think so. Sicko would decorate a decayed corpse in a room to children. Hmm. Good mm -hmm. question. Yeah, that is a very good question. Indeed. Is it me or does it look like the computer's moving slowly? I think it, it is. I don't know. Can I go in that room? I want to go in the room. 14 views on the second video. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, now we're in a class. Now we're in here. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, the boogeyman's gonna come for me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna hide right here. Is that another skeleton? In a bed? 
Do you see rape victims and use the skeletons for decorations? What? <laughs> oh my god! I'm scared. This game is taking a very dark talk turn. Boogeyman. Is he looking for me? He's coming straight for me. Oh god, he's looking at me. Are you that blind? He's blind as hell. Blind. Hmm. I'm not gonna inspect this place. Let's go. <laughs> Where'd everybody else go? <clears throat> they died, I think. Oh, fucking. Whoa. Is that the teacher skeleton? This is the skeleton from the science room? It's a spooky, scary skeleton. It's gonna be a party right now, Adrian. Whoa. What the fuck? Ready? Yeah. Whoa. It's dark as hell. Oh, yeah. A spooky, Whoa. scary skeleton! <laughs> shiver down your spine! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> Oh my that? god! It's it's a plant from Mario. He wants revenge. Yeah, he wants revenge. This soundtrack is weird now, actually. So we are getting to the people part. Oh shit. Oh shit, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Oh! <laughs> yeah, damn. Run, bitch, run. I'm trying to so weird. Yeah. Okay, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Let's go. Let's go. Time to get out. Seriously. I feel like it's moving slowly. Oh god, let me through! See? You know this school is not racist because of different colors of people, you know? At least they know. That is true. Oh shit, 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 oh Yeah, this guy is in my way. He's fast as fuck now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Move, red dude, move! Oh. Did he get you? No, he didn't! <laughs> oh yes, this one's. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? Dude. Oh yeah, that's right. I think these guys were called Sloppy Joes. Yeah. Door. Doors jammed. He looks cute. Oh, no. It's Sloppy Joe! See, he knew it was called Sloppy Joe. He looks cute. Are you scared yet? <laughs> yeah, this shit gets hella creepy, dude. What is this? I have become Sloppy Joe! Oh no! You can start Speaking hentai. of Sloppy Joe, I kinda want something to eat right now. Meh. I mean, we have chips, but... Meh. Yeah. This wasn't the first time I've been here. What was the point of me being a Sloppy Joe? I don't know. I remember. I remember. And you're a faggot. Shut up. <laughs> I would ask, I would say something, but she would. You're probably still the same as always, bro. Yeah, true. 
I want to know why I became a sloppy joe, but that was weird. That part is creepy. Oh, look, this part's going to get really in-depth to uh, Gwen and Flora. I mean, watch this shit. <clears throat> if this part even is real. <gasps> Spoilers? No, I don't even know if it's real or not. This is not far from where I was. <clears throat> oh, do you want me to do Flora's voice? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at the night sky, Hortzdorf. You could see the stars clip so clearly. I told you this lookout point was gorgeous at night. None of the older students come up to the school roof anymore. Where the fuck would they? <laughs> is it because they're dead now? But they don't know what they're missing. Just always or inspiring. Flora? Fuck me. What? This is beautiful. Like my nuts. <laughs> God damn it. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That was too perfect. Everyone else so wrapped up in their appearances and their screens. Just. Fuck me. Right now. You're so different from everyone else. Go in. <laughs> That's maybe not always for the best. <laughs> God damn it. Gwen, fork me. Please. I can't speak for everybody. As I am only me. Fuck me. But you're more important to me than anyone else I've ever known. So please. Dated before. I've never felt so close to anyone like this before. <sighs> Fuck me. You might be a bit of a roughhouser. Oh, you know that. <laughs> you do forget things easily. A real lone wolf was not good with woods. So <clears throat> Yet you have a pool of, of caring so deep. You try to hide it with a cold mask, but you can't fool me. You care more about those around you than anyone. You're just self-conscious and uncertain. I want to work with you to shatter the walls. We're in this together, remember? So fuck me. <laughs> Jeez, you're being so cheesy, Flora. Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. But I can't help it. You make me say cheesy things, what stuff. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I never said I didn't like cheese. You want my cheese? <laughs> I can give you my cheese if you know what I mean, what stuff. Well, not if it's Swiss cheese. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. God damn it. That's a nice artwork. I actually like that artwork. That looks really nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Props to the to the artist. We were so innocent then. Dumbstruck and blind with love. I kind of wish we could have stayed forever and wrapped in the overwhelming infatuation. be caught up and engrossed in the budding feeling of inspirational romance and experimentation. I couldn't help it. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody got pleasure out of that, I'm doing something right, I guess. If not, then you're probably going to comment, WEIRDO! Place in hot stuff. I have a question, and it's important, okay? It might sound silly, but you have to answer. Seriously. Okay? Sure, what is it? Will you fuck me? <laughs> <laughs> um. Do, do you. Oh, fuck. I, I wanted to. No, no. 
What would you think? <gasps> oh shit, that boy. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see where this goes. This is weird. Where am I? Can I move? No, I can't move. What is this? It's a boy. Oh. Flora! Where's Flora? <clears throat> What's happening to me? Everything and anything. Where am I now? My house, bitch. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, let's save here. Um. Now nah, we'll keep going. That would be way too short of an episode. Last episode was way too short. Is this weed? How's it growing here? Through them good lamps. <laughs> looks like a, a frowny face. Kind of does. Like sad to be there. <clears throat> oh, look, more of these weeds. <clears throat> probably having a wonderful time. I guess they just grow here naturally. Strange biome. Oh, what's this? It's a monster of some kind, but it's already been slain. Who did this to you? Who did this? <laughs> I will search for answers. Your name shall be Jeremy. What? <clears throat> Your name Let's look at these me. lights right here. It appears to be a panel with four colored buttons. Let's try pressing one of them. Mm. Train attack! <gasps> There's actually fights in this game now! Nice! Yes, we get to kill some shit! Train emerged! <laughs> okay, let's, let, let's fight. To the death. <clears throat> let's catch a train. Pokeball, go! When catches the goddamn train. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's fight. Let's try one. What does this do? Catch the train again, I guess? Catches the goddamn train. <laughs> I'll show him taking damage. Realize how poor you are? That's an option. <laughs> Let's hit the option, see what happens. Oh. I just have nothing. Punch something. Oh nice. <clears throat> Let's keep catching the train. It's a goddamn train! <clears throat> it runs over Gwen. Okay, I'm getting... Am I getting pummeled by a fucking train? Let's just keep trying to catch... Oh, no! I have no more MP for this shit! Oh, shit! No, the world is lost! I'm gonna have to use the Gwen fist! Fist that train good! <clears throat> This soundtrack is hella fucking nice, though. I like it. Yeah. So, Adrian, have you ever fought a train? What do you mean? If you ever got up to a train, it's just fuck you, train. Freaking punch it. Train ran me over, but it's okay. I'm gonna keep punching it. I mean, like, I've seen a train before I went up to it, but I haven't done anything to it. <laughs> you should have punched it. Why? Oh, the train took damage. The train is lonely, but it's a fucking train! Is that what it said? I don't know. Funny. Oh! The train's lonely, and it wants to cuddle me, but it's a fucking train! Oh my god, Victor. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm running low on HP. Am I gonna kill it soon? Oh my god, one more hit and I'm dead! Oh god, please let it stack this time. Oh, fuck. Gwen was defeated. I died. Game over. That's not fair. Let's go back into that fight scene. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> what, I killed it already? What the fuck? Is that it? Oh, yeah? Is that all you had, bitch? What up? What up? Is that all you had? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm now a level hey, it's two. the first thing that shows up on Google. Oh shit! If you, hey guys, if you, if you Google our channel name, our video is the first thing that pops up. Our first video is the thing Shy that pops guy up. on crack. Yeah, that's that's what I titled it. Let me go on images. <coughs> see right here. Oh really? Yeah. There's Google images for that. Yeah. See. How the fuck does that happen? I don't know. Maybe just screenshots it and put it on there. Enter the belly of the beast. It must. It seems I must enter through its 
red door like mouth. Okay. This is actually a poorly drawn train. You know what? I was impressed with the artwork with Gwen and Flora kissing. But this train, come on. Oh shit, what happens here? Is that here? ice? Diamond. Ice. Is that an egg? I guess so. Lightning bolt. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Here we have a new exciting contestant. Aw, oh, yeah. The circus, motherfuckers. Save her girlfriend. By the way. Oh. Kinky. Well, would you be a deer and lose your heart? Last time I did that, I ended up pregnant. Let me help you find what? That. <laughs> That's terrible. Hmm. He sounds weird. Why should I draw his to you? I am on a tight schedule. I've got some clean up to do. If you're not gay, well then, toodles. Toodles. He must have been gay. Let's keep going. Screw that guy. Gwen, 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 Gwen. What do you want? <laughs> Scare me, bro. <gasps> Holy shit! That looks kind of like a raccoon, kind of. Yeah, oh, shit. What is this? Does this belong to a cult? A bowl of beef. Is this edible? Mm -hmm. Got a, a sick radio box over there. Can I, play, can I play music on it? Dude, I want to play some beats. Time. Mm. Let's go forward. The hell? Just a table. It's just a table. Window. To the, to the window. To the wow. Can I go out the window? No. Yeah. Yeah, I can. D who who do, do you love? Who do you love? How do you want things to turn out? Sometimes we don't realize what's truly important until it's too late. It's a porter. Porter. Oh, I miss her so much, <clears throat> but I can never be forgiven. Be wary of the path you tread. Open your eyes. Who was there for you when you needed them most? Jesus? Really? <laughs> what? Oh, God. It's Alucard. <coughs> Looks like it's Alucard. <clears throat> Gwen, we need to talk. One. Can I wait, Kaito? No, we need to talk! Fucking freezing out here. We should find shelter. In a minute. <coughs> no, I believe it's because we're wet and miserable that we must talk about it now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? Kaito, do you want us <coughs> to catch cold? <laughs> oh, why won't you catch his dick? Oh, <laughs> bro. Mademoiselle, you don't need to keep hurting alone. I hear you screaming in silence, and it pains me, and not just me, but everyone else too. We all can hear it. your silent screams. <laughs> How can you hear that shit? I don't know. But none of us know what to do. Let me go inside. <laughs> Kaito, um, uh... give me any of it, bullcrap! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. We're all a team, Gwen. We're in it together. I didn't come a long journey to rescue your girlfriend simply out of the coldness of my heart. I didn't venture to defeat Demon King just because I wanted to see the world. Oy. Those were simply excuses. 
I came along because I wanted to be part of the greater to adventure the lands unseen. With allies I could trust, friends I never had. You know, ever since I met you, I found I felt closer to the adventure. I've always thought to be. You know what? <coughs> <coughs> I just remembered something. What? I just realized something. What did you realize? Um, I'm talking. I'm giving him a voice of a vampire that's kind of Frenchish, but kind of dumb-like. Have you realized that? <coughs> I'm trying to act like a vampire. Mm-hmm. But it's not working out very well for me. I, you know what? I like doing the voice. It's kind of fun for me. And hey, it's it's really cool. Thunder! <coughs> well, whatever. Whatever, you know. Damn. You know, the weather's been really shit lately. Yeah. I mean, if you live around the area where we live, like freaking northern Nevada, northern California, around that area, you can you know the weather's fucking shit. It's really bad right now. Right now, it's, it's a little chilly in here. Mm. Oh yeah, before uh, before this episode, we were actually uh, recording the other three previous ones in uh, in Adrian's room, and we figured that since it got a little warmer in here, we moved uh, we moved the uh, recording into into my room. And I think it's working out a little better. I mean, there's not a lot of background noise as much anymore. So I think you guys might enjoy that. And what else? Would you stop scratching <laughs> the fucking window? Please. Who drew a dick on my window? <laughs> oh, that's funny. What the hell? Somebody drew a dick on my window. Was it you? No. I, it sound, It looks like something you would do, okay? You would draw would, a dick on my window. It would, though, but why would I do it? Because just why not, okay? Put your hands on my Harley poster. No, you're not allowed to touch her. Fuck you. Let's just go, Let's just go on with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I feel like this episode might be a little longer. <clears throat> I eventually ran away from home and worked hard to get fine arts degree. If you guys were reading any of his dialogue, you can see that his story is kind of sad. Uh, if I remember correctly, because because this part I've been through it before, um, that he wanted to prove him, he wanted to prove to his dad, I think it was his dad, he wanted to prove to his dad that he wanted, that he could be great. So he went to get a fine arts degree, but like it says right there, he says that he ended up being a good for nothing, at a dead end. So, you know, wanting to prove to your own father that you could be something and you end up not being anything. It's kind of a sad story. And you kind of see why he wanted to go along with, with, with Gwen on her on her journey to save her girlfriend. Yeah. But the thing is, <clears throat> I haven't seen much in depth about uh, what was the other one's name? Vera. Vera. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen much anything of her. Maybe we'll get to see something of her. I maybe in the next episode. I'm not sure. Who knows. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I don't know how long this series is going to be. I doubt it's going to end at five episodes. I think that might be six or seven episodes, because I don't think this game is very long. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. <clears throat> to make myself out to be a grand adventurer who traveled the world surrounded by beautiful women. See, he wants to make something of himself. Mm-hmm. Prove to his father that he wants to be something. Dad, why don't you love me? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Just kidding, guys. I love my dad. My daddy loves me. <laughs> you have a dad? We share the same dad. I shouldn't have said anything. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you saying I'm adopted? If anything, you're the adopted one. Prove it. You look nothing like us. No, I no, I look. I look <laughs> nothing more like you. No, actually, no. You do look a lot like me, like uh, like a picture of you, like let's say uh, when you were like eleven. Looks like a picture of me when I was like eleven or twelve. So we do look kind of similar in that aspect. Yeah. Oh yeah, some artwork of. Uh... God, what was his name? What? His name. You already forgot his name. I don't know his name. I forgot his name. Well, let's call him Alucard. We'll call him Alucard. <laughs> With the wizard hat. Oh, he's the wizard. As well as my say, 
this wouldn't be a good for Team Moron. Or something along those lines. And you know what? Maybe all the drawings I did, the stories I made up, all of the things I loved as a child are in fact useless. But so what? We all have those things we love and can't let go, no matter how illogical it may be. You have Flora. You dearly miss her. That much is clear. <coughs> Find Arakun. Does he not know we killed him? Or maybe it was an illusion that we killed him. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? I don't because, know what's going on Because that, that green figure that showed up like after uh, that guy was saying like, Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. Yeah. It was a green figure that popped out and it looked like a uh, harcoon. Yeah, so, it did too. So do you think he's an illusion? Maybe. Maybe there's just more of him. You'll we'll never know. Oh. It could be another thing. Maybe he actually is a shy guy. Because there's a bunch of them. Oh my god. <coughs> <coughs> there are things are are there things I'm forgetting? Yeah, seems like it. Kaito, that was his name. Kaito. We're still calling him Elucard. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just who is he to me? Who knows? Fuck, buddy. He was near the beginning of the the uh, series, like the beginning of the game. Like if you're walking past the inn, you'll see him there. Alright, there's a safe point right there, too. Where am I now? This is a sort of logical connection between any of the two places. If this is not our coons doing, then why am I suddenly appearing in these odd, strange worlds? They feel like a glimpses into other realities, or maybe I've just gone mad. Well, let's see what's going on here. <laughs> Indeed we shall. But is in the next book? episode! Book. So, we're gonna book. save right here. But is that a book on the floor? Hmm? Is that a book on the floor? <clears throat> Whatever it may be, we'll find out in the next episode. Next time, on, on Fuck Buckets. Yeah.